with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, a pretty nice setup this morning in Newport. Let's take you live there. And you can see sun getting ready to come up. Very clear skies with good visibility. Now we may get a few low clouds here this morning and then increasing clouds this afternoon, but we should be able to sneak in a decent amount of sunshine for today and that will help to warm things up. Obviously this weekend after Thanksgiving, a huge travel weekend and we're in pretty good shape at our major airports. It is nice to see not a lot of green or blue showing up, meaning no rain or snow across a good part of the country. So we are dry for the most part from Denver down to the southeast Atlanta into uh, Florida, although we are picking up a few showers offshore here. It's the northwest where most of the action will be over the next couple days. So SeaTac Airport may have a few issues because of rain. Same thing here in Portland, maybe some visibility related delays. And then on Sunday, that system dives a little further down to the south. So San Francisco may also get in on some of those delays for Sunday, as will Portland and Seattle. Again, this does not guarantee you that you're going to get some delays due to rain, but it's simply the most unsettled part of the country right now. Elsewhere, you are seeing some snow here through portions of Canada and some showers sliding through this evening in the northeast, but they may actually fizzle out before they reach our area. We'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Right now we are at 29 in Taunton, but 47 in Westerly, Newport kind of sitting in between at 38 degrees, Smithfield 37, 34 in Providence. Uh, some of us having to scrape those cars overnight through very early this morning, depending on where you were. But again, those temperatures kind of even out this afternoon. Winds are almost non-existent in many spots. Calm from Providence down to Newport, five miles an hour from the southwest in Westerly and five miles an hour out of the south in Smithfield. So essentially we have this system here and you can actually see on this high resolution data some of these little uh, specks of yellow that's actually lightning. This energy fortunately misses us offshore and then we have this front moving in from the northwest. But this really doesn't have a lot of punch to it in terms of rainfall. Here's why. Let's uh, walk you through this afternoon. This is around three o'clock at this point. Likely some clouds on the increase, but you could see these showers to our north and west along with that front. And then watch how everything just kind of fizzles out later on tonight through tomorrow morning. So if we get a shower or two tonight through tomorrow morning, uh, it won't be much. And some of us may escape the showers altogether, leading to a dry but cooler Sunday afternoon. Now let's talk about that wind direction because that is a huge factor in our forecast for the next couple days. We are ahead of the cold front today, which is a good place to be. If you like the milder air, we get those breezes flowing out of the southwest. But as this front slides through tonight, notice what happens to all these arrows. That is showing you the direction of the wind now coming in from the north and northwest as we head into Sunday afternoon. So we get this flow out of Canada. You will feel that difference if you're out and about tomorrow afternoon, especially if you're heading to the Patriots game, which we'll talk about in just a second. Today, high temperatures generally mid to upper 50s. I don't see it being really consistently windy all day long, but we could see a few gusts around 25 miles an hour at times. Temperatures mid to upper 50s. We'll take it down to around 52 degrees just after sunset. And then our temperatures across the board. I don't see huge differences by location today. We'll be a little bit cooler for uh, places like Westerly, Narragansett, Newport with those winds coming out of the southwest. And then tonight, not actually as cool as we're seeing this morning. We'll dip down to the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Some of that cloud cover and the milder air mass will keep temperatures up a little bit tonight compared to last night. Pat's game. All right, if you're a tailgater, 45 degrees around 11 o'clock in the morning. And because we have that cooler air mass sliding in from the northwest, we don't really warm up all that much. Temperatures kind of holding steady in the mid to upper 40s around kickoff, 46 degrees, 39 for the walk back to the car. And notice those winds could gust between 25, even 35 miles an hour. Obviously, the Patriots can handle that, but definitely bring your favorite Patriots jacket if you're heading to the game as those winds will make it feel a bit cooler. Seven day future cast shows a cooler blustery day on Monday as well, and then temperatures actually recover into the 50s by Tuesday and Wednesday, a little cooler on Thursday with a chance of some showers by the time we move into Friday, Julian. So in terms of storms and precipitation, kind of quiet around here for the next seven days. Yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice week ahead. Yes, it is. Thanks, Pete. Covering New England this morning, a sheriff outside of Portland, Maine,